Jump, 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 jump. Guys, scary you get. What's up, dudes and dudes to the air? Now, my name's Seth, and we are back again for another trove. Trove, trove. I hope you're having a fantastic today, everybody, and I hope that this video makes your day even better. Oh my goodness gracious! Where is? Oh, well, it would take me 50 years to search through my inventory to get Scarlet the Spider. Remember that? To eat all the plants. So instead, my bow and arrow, Jasper. That's the name of my bow and arrow. It's enchanted. Actually, no, it's meow meow. The same as Thor, you know. And it wants to eat all the plants. Oh, yes, it's delicious. Get all of them. Excuse me. Pardon me, everyone. But I need to get upstairs because otherwise I'm going to be swamped with people down there. We're not going to be playing and Do Not Disturb today, which means that we're going to get spam invited like this. But we also are going to have the advantage of having a million zillion people with us. So I'm going to try and keep it a little bit slower today so that we can have everybody keep up. Because otherwise people always have a very hard time keeping up, even though they should still be able to join me, right? Never mind. There's only one speed. Mine. Yes, that's right. So what we're going to be giving away today, everybody, is some pretty special stuff. I want to give a shout out to Chronozilla because she ended up throwing me another one. We're going to be giving away a stellar bow. Granted, this one has energy regen second stat, but... It's important to note, and I've talked about this a couple times, but I do want to talk about it now more so than ever, that this bow technically is going to end up being ultra powerful because everybody, very, very soon, the devs have talked about it a lot, so it's only a matter of time, where they are going to finally end up adding the ability for us to randomize the second stat on a piece of gear. Now, that's only gonna be a temporary thing, but they have done that in the past before, so it means that whatever lucky winner ends up winning that bow, you're going to want to hang on to it uh, because it still is a stellar bow and eventually you'll be able to randomize the second stat to be in crit damage, which is ideal. And then, of course, we're going to be giving away a floating formula. This is from a million zillion years ago. I forget if Joe crafted this or I crafted this. I don't even have it on a piece of paper anymore because it's been such a long time. Seriously, why am I even fighting seriously? Actually, you know what? While we're in here, let's actually go to ha ha the gunslinger because this is really cool, everybody. So, uh, I've been taking things a little bit serious lately, you know, there was that recent video I put out kind of showing you all uh, what my gear was and stuff like that, and generally speaking, it wasn't very high up there, right? So, uh, mostly it wasn't high up there because I swap a lot of my gear from character to character, right? So that's the biggest reason why I haven't, like, I don't have Stellar on every single class or anything like that. However, I ended up going on a little bit of a spending spree, going a bit nuts, and, uh, yeah, so needless to say, my Gunslinger is fully stellared up, fully pearled up, everything's beautiful on him, granted his gems are not the best. This one, is it this one? Yeah, this one, no, wait, that's a stellar gem, so that's actually not bad. Uh, there was a better gem that I would like to have put on our character, but unfortunately, I, <laughs> I'm fresh out of empowered gems, everybody. It, not only stellar ones, but even radiant ones, so it's gonna be a real long time before I end up getting an ideal gem for my magic character here. I think rip me, I ended up deleting a little bit too many, but I wanted to kind Kind of like I know I talked about making the candy barb or the pirate captain my secondary character, but I went gunslinger because of the fact that we're gonna be using a gun on the dino tamer class when he ends up coming out right now. Granted, here's the thing too, everybody. This second stat is not ideal. I know. But on the point, well, it's ideal for a gunslinger, actually. We can rocket jump like 24-7. But the Dino Tamer character, you're probably going to want crit damage second stat because of the fact that, from what we've been able to tell, he's not going to actually regenerate energy. So, again, to the same point, we're going to be waiting for that randomization thingamabob. By the way, this is hilarious. Remember this? I did this a long time ago. Ah! I did this a long time ago with old mounts and stuff like that. Looks so funny with a dragon. You do your rocket jump, hop on your mount, and then hee hee! <laughs> you can float in a straight line without even animating. It's so hilarious. Like, seriously, it looks so stupid. I love it. Stop it with the invites. By the way, 
every now and then I do this. Uh, not not often. I can't often do this whole uh, not do not disturb thing because sometimes it gets a little bit crazier. I've already been on for like an hour or so, so the invites are kind of calming down a little bit. But otherwise, <laughs> within that first hour, I get spammed way more than you've ever seen. Like straight up, my game is unplayable unless I'm in do not disturb. It's awful, and I really do hope that the devs end up adding a different type of do not disturb or just end up fixing the system in general where I would still be able to have people join up on me while it not locking out my controls. Now, on the point of the gunslinger being uh, kind of like, I guess, my secondary character, he, he's not particularly strong with his basic attacks or anything like that, but his ultimate, now that is where it's at. Like, seriously, he's, he's pretty good. And I, I want to try and power him up and see how tough I can end up making him, whether or not he ends up being something that can, you know, actually fight. Because, yeah, as it stands right now, he's kind of like, he's in the middle, mostly because I don't have anything for him. Granted, I have all of my ideal magic gems on the character, but that doesn't really matter, GG. By the way, just a fun fact on the side, everybody. You can type slash FOV and then put in a number to change your field of view. So what I like doing is uh, getting your field of view nice and close on your character. Then you type slash hide player. And then you can actually play Trove in a, as a first person shooter. It's hilarious and it's a lot of fun. I really would wish that one day they would actually have a legitimate first person shooter mode. That would be so cool, wouldn't it? But yeah, anyway, we'll do a couple more dungeons here before we call it a day. Because Scythe Poo's got to get real busy. I got a lot of other things that I got to record today, Trove included, but most of it is going to be special videos, which will have probably already come out on the channel. Where is everybody? Look, they're all climbing through that dungeon. <laughs> don't climb through the dungeon. You don't need to do that. Just, just get out of there. It's a giant maze, okay? It sucks. That dungeon's evil. Let's get out of here. Where's this guy? Yeah! Oh, we almost got him with our dragon. Let's get him with the second pass. No! Never mind, he's gone. Forget him. Screw it! Where's a dungeon? Let's do one last dungeon before we call it a day. Let's actually do the one at the top of this mountain. Yes! It's like a pilgrimage. Wouldn't that be cool? If these, uh, like, I've always thought that. I remember saying that once way, way back in the day when I was still, uh, when this game was still in beta. And I was saying how, wouldn't that be cool if the game's world kind of generated paths that would actually generate going towards other dungeons? Now, to that same point, I think it would be so cool if all of these mountains ended up having, like, a proper path or staircase up them. Now, I don't think they could ever, I don't think they could ever try to get uh, some type of bio generation code like that even if they wanted to but I just think that would be a cool idea or forget biome generation just make it a pre de pre designed world or something like that no stop it how many enemies do we have to kill oh my goodness we have to kill 30 of them well you know what because we're not gonna get anything exponential and because we've got so many people here that it's gonna end up lagging out thanks so much for watching everybody I very much appreciate it do not forget to hook in the like button share favorite and subscribe to join team pixel Sanoa and stay epic everybody Believe in yourself.